What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching tonight on the show. We're speaking with collegiate soccer player Micah Hennigan. Now, uh, congratulations on scoring your first collegiate goal. But before we get into that, let's talk about the decision-making process of how you decided to choose your school and, and playing soccer out there in uh, South Carolina. So my decision in playing for Bob Jones was, uh, it was pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of my teachers are um, graduates from that school, so they really um, pushed, pushed me to join that school. And um, also my sister is a graduate there. And um, the soccer program is pretty good there. They, and um, they're, they're going from uh, NCC AA Division II and NCAA uh, Division Three. So they're, they're, they're going from a Christian league to a Division Three league, and that was really like an eye-opener for me. Um, and we, um, our coach is a new coach, and I hear that um, he's done really good stuff, so that really encouraged me going there. You already have three games under your belt, and how is it just, you know, being a collegiate athlete and having to get adjusted to that, that traveling lifestyle when you do play games on the road? It's very different um, traveling on the road. It's, uh, it's a lot of preparation mentally and physically. Um, we have a four hour, uh, my last away game was a four hour bus ride to Montgomery, Alabama. Um, it's, um, it's a different experience. You get, a, you get to travel around the mainland um, across through Georgia. It was my first time playing in Alabama, so it was, it was very nice. I really liked it. Walk us through the, the play and how it unfolded for you to set up for an opportunity to score a goal for your team. Yeah, my first goal, I, I just, I came off the bench really eager to make an impact on the game. Um, I came on uh, in the first half, um, you know, ready, fired up. Um, it just happened to come to my feet and it was a quick release. And I'm just really, really thankful to score and represent my country or my island and my family. Your family's response when they heard that you scored a goal and the GFA side, I'm sure they were pretty excited to hear the good news as well. Uh, they're really proud of me. Um, they sacrificed so much to get me out here. Um, I know there's no soccer going around on Guam right now. Maybe there's some training on, on the side training, uh, social distance training. But um, yeah, I just, I really want to show um, my island that I'm still out here playing, working hard for them um, and my family too. The GFA has done a lot for youth athletes attending the National Academy. And the hard work has paid off tremendously for players like you and other players that are uh, definitely on the come up. Uh, I've, I've been in the uh, GFA program since I was very little, since I was around middle school. I played in the academy from the U12, U14, U18, U16, U18, all the way to the Matal, the men's national team. And I feel like through that process of my life, they really prepared me in playing intercollegiate. Talk about some of the teams that are in your conference that you are looking forward to stepping onto the pitch against. So um, we play a lot of um, division, division three teams, NAI teams, NAIA teams. Um, we got we got big big schools around here. Where I'm from, Clemson is around here. Furman's around here. Um, so just big, big teams and uh, big stadiums that we, we could play at right now. What's the biggest difference compared high school uh, soccer or just soccer played on Guam compared to stateside? It's um, maybe high school on Guam. Um, playing high school on Guam is uh, a lot. Maybe the physicality in high school is very similar to the states. Um, but when it comes to nationals, it's more tactical. Uh, I could tell that uh, I need to use my body a lot more playing out here. Um, but um, playing for the national team, they really helped me um, with my composure and being confident on the ball and playmaking abilities. So uh, I'd say the level on Guam national-wise is not, is not far off at all out here. And are there any other Islanders on the team? I'm the only, I'm the only Island guy on the team. So um, I, know, I know a few guys that are playing – that uh, my former teammates, the national team, um, that are playing the, um, collegiate soccer as well. So shout out to them. Talk about the facility that you play in, your, your home uh, turf. Uh, what's the uh, turf like, or are you guys playing on grass? 
Um, coming here, I was really impressed with the facility. Um, we play on grass. We have three, three fields that we actually have. Um, very nice fields. Um, they're very maintained. They're cut every day. Uh, it's just I'm really thankful to play out there and play big games on that field. It's really nice. Don't forget some programming news for you. Monday, 3 in the morning on KUAM TV 11, we have some NFL on CBS, the Cincinnati Bengals at the Philadelphia Eagles. And then at 1020 in the morning, KUAM TV 8, NFL on NBC, the Green Bay Packers at the New Orleans Saints.